India's defense technology is growing at a speed that is shocking the world. From the LCA Tejas to the AMCA Stealth Fighter, from advanced drone programs to next-gen turbofan engines, India is no longer just a buyer of defense tech, it's becoming a global manufacturer. And now, India's Defense Secretary Rajesh Kumar Singh has just made one of the biggest announcements in the country's aerospace history, an announcement that has sent shockwaves across the entire defense sector. Why? Because this statement is about the project considered the heart of India's future air power, the Kaveri jet engine, and India's new 120 kilo Newton indigenous engine program. And what he revealed is a total game changer. According to the Defence Secretary, India is finalising a joint development programme with a top global jet engine manufacturer. And this is not some regular engine. This will be a 120 kilo Newton high-class turbofan engine, the kind used in fifth and even sixth generation fighter jets, as well as future high-power UCAVs and India's advanced AMCA MK2 platform. And here's the bombshell. The entire engine will be developed and produced domestically with full intellectual property rights held in India. For the first time, India won't just build a world-class engine, India will own it. Full design, full technology, full control. This is the moment India moves from engine buyer to engine power. What about the Kaveri engine? Is it dead? The Defence Secretary finally cleared the air. And the truth is not what people assumed. No, the Kaveri engine is not dead. Yes, it failed to reach the required thrust-to-weight ratio for fighter jets. But India has found it a new and powerful role. Cavalry is now being integrated into India's UCAV, Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle Program. This gives the project a new life and something even more important. It opens the door for private companies to license and use cavalry-based technologies in India's booming drone industry. And the industry is exploding. A record-breaking 24 Indian companies have already bid for India's latest male category drone tender. Even the Defence Secretary admitted, I cannot believe that all of them have the capability to build full-fledged aircraft, but we expect at least two strong, credible companies to emerge. This is how you build a national ecosystem. This is how you create the next generation of defence giants. Delays? India gets tough. Very tough. The Defence Secretary didn't hide anything. He openly said he does pressure HAL and domestic companies about delays. But there's a twist. He also exposed that even global suppliers are causing delays. Russia's S-400 shipments are delayed due to conflicts. Israel's defense orders are delayed for the same reason. The GE engine supply chain has been hit repeatedly, meaning delays are not just India's fault, they're global. But here's the new India. From now on, any defense contract, Indian or foreign, will be canceled if deliveries are not made within one year. No exceptions, no extensions, no excuses. This is the era of accountability. The big picture, India's engine revolution has begun. Let's break it down. India is developing its own 120 kilo Newton jet engine, designed, built and owned in India. Kaveri engine gets a new role in UCAVs, giving it life, purpose and industry adoption. Private Indian defense ecosystem is exploding from drones to engine components to airframes. India is cracking down on delays. Domestic or foreign, no one gets a free pass. This isn't just a policy announcement. This is the start of India's engine independence era, a moment many countries never reach. In the next 10 to 12 years, India will test prototypes, certify platforms, and begin production. And when that happens, India will join the elite club of nations capable of building advanced fighter jet engines, a club currently dominated by the US, France, and the UK for the first time ever. India will no longer depend on anyone for the heart of its air power. India will build it, India will own it, and India will lead it.